Greetings in the name of the Lord our God. Praise God. Glory be to God in the highest place. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. I want to believe that you all are keeping well by the grace and the mercy of God. Praise God. I hope you had a great day today. I hope you have had a great uh, moment in the presence of the Lord our God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I greet us all in the matchless and glorious name above every other name. The name glorious. The name exalted. The name magnificent. Praise God. Praise God. Uh, we're going to be looking into something interesting tonight uh, or this day, depending on the uh, time zone you are at. Some are in uh, Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere, etc., etc. But nevertheless, uh, we are grateful because all times and seasons belong to God. And God is faithful in all the time zones. And I believe that uh, we will be able to feed into something great today. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Man shall not live by bread alone. but by every word of God that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Praise God. Glorious Jesus, glorious Lord, praise God, praise God. Now we're going to look into uh, certain aspects and dimensions of prayer, the model of prayer that Jesus gave us. It wasn't uh, necessarily... To be replicated but he did give us certain dimensions uh, in prayer praise God and I believe that we will all be thoroughly be blessed as we delve into uh, Matthew chapter 6 praise God our father which art in heaven her Lord be thy name praise God and I believe that uh, this will be able to remind us of certain dimensions to the edification of our soul in great ways. Wambui Nyambura, God bless you, praise God. Arjun Sun Asud, God bless you. Farida Fads, God bless you. Glory be to God, glory be to God, glory be to God, glory be to God. Wonderful Jesus, wonderful Jesus, glorious Lord. Praise God. Uh, great, 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 great. Now open the book uh, or your scripture, so your Bible, to the book of uh, St. Matthew. Matthew is also known as Levi. Praise God. Matthew was also the one called Levi. He was a tax collector and as one of uh, the formidable and faithful disciples of Jesus. Matthew or Levi all means uh, the same, praise God. So we see a model of prayer given by Jesus to his disciples and let us see certain aspects and dimensions of the same. God ordained prayer as a communication betwixt us and him. It is that which connects us to him. The means, the vehicle of communication is perhaps the greatest blessing God has given us. That we are able to commune with God as our father. 
that we're able to commune with God as our God. We're able to communicate and the eternal uh, dimensions are revealed to us as we pray. And the possibilities are made. We are turned into a people of all possibilities when we pray. A prayer is the earthly permission for heavenly intervention. It is the communication betwixt man and God so that we are able to pray and the things happen. He said in his word, whatsoever things ye pray, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them. Whatsoever things ye pray, believe that ye, uh, uh, as ye pray, believe that ye receive, uh, you have them, uh, you receive them, and you shall have them. Praise God. Amal Shargil, uh, pray for me, man of God. Okay, God bless you, Amal Shargil. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you are blessed. Adil Gili, sir, pray for my visa. Okay, God bless you. I pray for your visa in the name of the Lord Jesus. Whichever uh, nation you are applying your visa for, I pray for supernatural uh, favor for you in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray for everyone coming in live now from different parts of the world. The grace of God to abound, the power of God to be released. And uh, the will and the purpose and the pleasure of God to prosper according to his good. Uh, pleasure in every individual's life. Praise God. And so every one of us, the book of St. Um, Saint Matthew, the sixth chapter, you know, Jesus is teaching them uh, about uh, prayer. Praise God. Many other times we pray in vain. We pray either because we are selfish, we pray selfish prayers, or we pray amiss because we don't mean it. We don't pray uh, by faith. We don't pray because we have no confidence in whatever we pray for. But God has intended that prayers be answered. Because it is the communication for earthly permission for heavenly intervention. To enforce the promises of God for us. When we pray, the powers of darkness are dispelled. When we pray, the will of God prospers according to his good pleasure in our lives. When we pray, our spirit is edified. When we pray, our soul is edified. When we pray, uh, the name of God is exalted and the kingdom of God is glorified. And so when we pray, the promises of God are made yes and amen uh, in our lives. Praise God. Glory be to God. Margarita Dresen, greetings from Australia. Thank you for the entrance of your word. Give it light. Blessings to you. God bless you. Jeremiah Kiplagat, God bless you. Aman Shergil, uh, your ministry will grow in leaps and bounds and in grace and in a powerful way. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord will uh, uh, use you powerfully. And the Lord will glorify his name in a very powerful way in your life. It's going to be great in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lydia Nyamari, your prayers are being answered. Don't worry for the delays are not del denial. It shall come to pass all that you have been praying and crying for before the presence of God. But the Lord will delight in blessing you. Lydia Nyamari, in the name of Jesus, praise God. We serve a faithful God. We serve a mighty God. We serve a glorious God. We serve a God who answers our prayers. We serve a God who is gracious. We serve a God of miracles and signs and wonders. We serve a God with whom nothing is impossible. We serve a God who can turn things around and change and shift things to the glory of his name. What a mighty God we serve, the creator of the heavens and the earth. What a mighty God we serve who gives his promises and maketh them to come to pass, who fulfills his prophecies in our lives. That's the God that we serve in the name of Jesus. Aman Shegel, God will bless your ministry. Aman Shegel, God is blessing your ministry. The spirit of boldness, the spirit of grace, be upon you in a mighty way. Don't fear, don't fret, 
Don't be afraid. Don't be dismayed. The power of God is evident and is coming your way in a powerful way. Praise God. The book of St. Matthew, so I'll be trying to be as, um, uh, I'll try to be as, uh, uh, as slow as possible so that every word will percolate so that we'll be able to masticate and receive the word of God in powerful ways. Glory be to God. Praise God. The book of St. Matthew, Jesus here, is teaching his disciples concerning the ministry uh, of, um, of prayer. The ministry of prayer, like I said, is one of the greatest and one of the highest uh, privileges God has given man so that man is able to communicate or we are able to communicate with him. When we got born again, washed in his precious blood, he changed us, transformed us into his people, into his children, called by his name, redeemed by his precious blood. Having received eternal life and having access to the very presence of God, we can undeniably stand and begin to commune with God. He says he's able to present us before the presence of God without shame or without guilt. Why without shame or guilt? Because our sins have been washed away by the precious blood of Jesus Christ, because we have received eternal life in Christ Jesus, and because we have been brought to the fold of the kingdom of God, therefore we belong in the kingdom of God. We are sons and daughters of the Most High God, and we are the children of the Most High God. And we have been brought nigh unto him who are once very far away by our sinful nature. The nature of God now has been bequeathed in us even by the righteousness of God. So that we are able to stand in the presence of God and pray and commune with God and expect God to do wonders in our lives. We will not be held back. We will not be dismayed or discouraged because we belong to our God. The privilege, the honor, the blessing of praying in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to the creator of the heavens and the earth, to our Father. The Father of all creation, the Father of all spirits, the Father of all beings. Praise God. Hallelujah. So the book of St. Uh, Matthew, please, if you have your Bibles, the book of uh, St. Matthew, if you have your Bible, please, in the name of the Lord Jesus, oh, glory be to God, the book of St. Matthew, praise God, the book of St. Matthew, chapter 6, praise God, chapter 6. Uh, he was teaching them about prayer. Now, let me read from uh, the New King James Version. Then I'll go to the King James Version in the second part of it. Take it that you do not do your charitable deeds before men to be seen by them. Otherwise, you have no reward from your Father in heaven. Therefore, when you do a charitable deed, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and the streets that they may have glory from men. As sure as I say to you, they have their reward. Praise God. In other words, he, when, when we pray or when we do good acts, we don't have to boast about them. You say, uh, God knows uh, whatever we do with a clear conscience unto others as we minister unto others. And then he says here uh, that when you do a charitable deed, do not let your left hand know that your right hand is doing. Uh, he, he referred here, don't be like hypocrites. The word hypocrites here means uh, hypocrites or hypocrisis. It was referring to uh, people that were actors. They would play uh, an act by placing a facade and then act a certain part. So they were, they were called as hypocrites uh, from the word hypocrites or hypocrisis. You see, they would act a part, praise God. So um, they were play acting, reading a script, and one to put an act, 
And so they would conceal their true motives and display something that they were not necessarily are. So he says, don't be like these hypocrites, okay? Don't be like the pretenders. Don't pretend a part you're not. But do whatever you do in the name of the Lord in all humility and with a clear conscience, your Father in heaven knows exactly what you do. Praise God. But when you do a charitable deed, do not let, let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. That your charitable deed may be in secret, and your father who sees in secret will himself reward you openly. Praise God. Your father in heaven will openly reward you. And when you pray, you shall not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues on the corners of the streets, that they may be seen by men, assured, I say to you, they have their reward. But you, when you pray, go into your room, praise God. <laughs> oh, glory, uh, praise God. But you, when you pray, go into your room, and when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in the secret place, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly, praise God. We can see God without necessarily showing everybody that we are very prayerful people. Uh, the results of our prayers will definitely be manifest and be seen. A prayer life, a prayerful life is a life that is filled with miraculous acts and godly divine interventions. You see, it is filled with the power and the glories of God. You can't hide when you're a prayerful person because the power of God will be exemplified outwardly or be manifest in very conspicuous ways praise god and so he says here do not uh, necessarily show forth your spirituality so much uh don't um act in a way that you become a distraction and you even become an irritant to many but let your deeds and actions be seen by your heavenly father because after all they will be tangibly be seen so your devotion, your time of prayer, your time of seeking God in a secret place will manifest conspicuous, evident results outwardly. Praise God. So when you are a people who seek God so much, when you are a people of prayer, when you are a people who love God passionately and you pray and you have your seasons and times to seek God in the secret chambers, the Lord will reward you openly. And your prayers will even be powerful as short as they may be in public because you have already developed a long fellowship with God in the secret chambers or secret places. Praise God. Oh, glory be to God. So the word to pray means that to prosu kumai, praise God. Uh, prosu ho me, praise God. Uh, it simply means it's a word that is progressive, starting with the noun uk. And uh, it means um, uh, to pray unto God, uh, which also either includes a vow and... Uh, uh, it describes an invocation or a request, praise God, or an entreaty. I entreat thee, I pray thee, uh, uh, you know, I request thee. It's an invocation, praise God. So he is telling us here, when we pray unto God, we invoke his promises. Okay, we entreat our God. Glory be to God. So there is a difference when we pray unto God and when we decree and declare and command life circumstances or situations or when we rebuke the powers of darkness. So those are different dimensions in prayer, different dimensions in prayer. We pray unto God, we entreat God or we petition God, or we invoke his promises. We entreat, we request, okay, or we invoke his promises unto God because he's our father and we have honor and respect and dignity and ascribe greatness and uh, we have the reverential fear unto him. 
He is the Father and the Lord of all creation, the Father of all spirits, who made and created us in his own likeness and image. But concerning the works of God, we can command uh, the same, praise God. For instance, we can say, I decree and declare that I'm blessed. I decree and declare that it shall be well with my life. I decree and declare in the name of the Lord Jesus that every blessing of God that maketh rich and addeth no sorrow is mine. I have been blessed with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my present help in seasons and times of trouble and need. Praise God. Those are declarations. I declare that I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I declare that I'm a tree, that, that I am like a tree that is planted by the streams of waters that bear it fruits in season and out of season. And I declare and decree that I am the head, not the tail. I declare and decree that I am always the head and not the tail, and above always and never beneath, and a lender and not a borrower. Praise God. So those are declarations. But when we pray unto God, we entreat God because we are not equal with him. Praise God. He is not our peer. As much as his grace hath brought us nigh unto him, as much as the blood of Jesus Christ hath translated us from the clutches and the dominions and the influences of our past con conversations unto the dominions of God's righteousness. Praise God. And so we entreat God, but we command the works of God. And we decree and declare and publish the promises of God. And we rebuke the powers of darkness and we resist the enemy as we submit ourselves unto God. We resist the enemy and then he flees. Praise God. Why? We are servants. We are brethren. We are sons. We are children of the Most High God. All of that refers to us in different categories and different spheres and dimensions of our spiritual growth. Praise God. We are servants. We are friends. Jesus said, no longer do I call you servants, but I call you friends. And to as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Okay? Behold what manner of love the Father has shown unto us, that we may be called the children of the Most High God. So we are servants. We are brethren. It says, uh, I, I, we, we are brethren, for Jesus is our elder brother. He calls us brethren. So we are servants, brethren, children, sons of God. Praise God. All of that uh, refer to our inheritance in the kingdom of God and to our heritage in the kingdom of God. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, I'm loving every bit of this. I'm loving every bit of this. And this is beautiful. So we are servants. We are brethren. We are children of the most high God. We are sons of the most high God. All of that refers to us. And so, and all of these have the privilege to entreat God. Praise God. And they also have the privilege to command. You remember Job uh, tells us, Thou shalt also uh, declare a thing unto thyself, and it shall be established unto thyself. Thou shalt also declare a thing. So we make declarations of the promises of God. As we make the declarations of the promises of God, they become a manifest reality in our lives. So don't let your cup be dry. Fill your cup always with the declarations. Fill your atmosphere with declarations. Fill your life with declarations. I declare that I am blessed. I declare that I am anointed of the Spirit of God. 
I declare that wealth and riches dwell in my household. I declare that I'm blessed. Whatever my hands touch and do, I'm blessed. My feet are established, ordained, made firm by the Lord. For the steps of the righteous are established, made firm, and ordained by the Lord. And therefore, the Lord leadeth me always to triumphant procession in Christ Jesus. I will never be defeated. I can't fall by the wayside. I can't fall off the cliff. The grace of God sustains me. And the power of God is in and upon and within me. God dwells in me, working and doing wonders and expressing his divinity in and through my life. I am the head, not the tail, above always, never beneath, lend and not a borrower. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Oh, the glory of God illuminates my life. I'm blessed, I'm blessed. I'm anointed, I'm powerful. Oh, hallelujah. I walk in the grace and the power and the glory of God. I am more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. I am more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. Glory be to God. And so those are declarations. The more you declare the word of God, the promise of God, the exceeding glorious promises of God given to us, one, the more that word sticks on you and becomes a reality. The more the power of God is released through your clay mouth. And the power of God is manifest and becomes a reality. Glory be to God. So it behooves us, therefore, to publish, to declare the promises of God and build our environment and structure our lives according to the promises of God in our lives. Glory be to God. Oh, hallelujah. You walk in favor, we walk in favor, we walk, we walk in victory. Glory be to God. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let me continue here. And when you pray, do not use vain repetitions <clears throat> as the heathen do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. Do not be verbose. Don't be repetitive. Praise God. But this is how I want to put it across to us. Every time you pray, every time you pray for the promises of God, I yes and amen in Christ Jesus. Always believe that your prayers have already been answered. Praise God. Every time you pray, always believe by faith that your prayers have already been answered. So somebody's going to ask, then why pray if my prayers have already been answered? We pray because we enforce that which already belongs to us. We enforce that which already belongs to us. Men always ought to pray and ought to pray without ceasing. Praise God. Whatsoever things ye pray, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. First John 5.14 somewhere. Whatsoever things ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. You recall somewhere in the book of Mark 11, 22, 23, etc. He says, Have faith in God. Most assuredly say unto thee, Whoever shall speak to this mountain and say, Be thou removed and be cast the sea and believe in the things he says without doubting in the hearts, they will have the possession of that which they have have declared. Praise God. Glory be to God. Oh, that which you have declared. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Oh, hallelujah. And so, and so, what the greatest weapon God has given us, praise God, is prayer. In fact, praise is another form of prayer. Worship is another form of prayer. Glory be to God. We become powerful as we pray. Anyway, uh, I'm going to be, uh, this is just part one of what we're going to be continuing with. Because it's going to be so powerful, it's going to be glorious. And so we continue. Therefore, do not be like them, for your Father knows the things you have need even before you ask Him. So you say, you hear that. God already knows that you need whatever you are praying for. So don't be verbose. Don't pray many words in vain. Say them. Declare your prayer by faith and in faith. Knowing that even before you pray, even before you raise your voice, even before you ask, God has already answered your prayer. Glory be to God. God has already answered your prayer. Oh, I love this. Isn't it marvelous and elating? And isn't it uh, fulfilling that we serve a God who already has answered all our prayers even before we pray. He has already answered all of our prayers before we pray. What a faithful God. What a covenant-keeping God. What a glorious God. What a stupendous God. What a generous God. What a, what, what a God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. That even before we pray, that even before we ask, He has already answered our prayers. He knows our desires. He knows our needs. He knows everything that we so ask for. Even before we ask, even before we pray, even before we request, even before we petition, He knows everything in advance. And so therefore, when we pray by faith, we believe that all that we pray for, he has already answered our prayers. Oh, hallelujah. He has already supplied our needs according to his riches in glory by his son Christ Jesus. He has already gone before us and fought our battles and given us victory. He has already blessed the works of our hands. Glory be to God. He has already caused us to leap over the walls. He has already brought down every wall of opposition against our lives. He has already made us the head, not the tail above always and ever beneath. He has already established us in his own righteousness. He hath already lifted our head because he is our shade at our right hand. Our very present help in times of trouble and need. Our shield and buckler. Our God who surrounds us. Oh, Shaka and Falaba, a very present help in times of need, a refuge, a stronghold. Oh, Lamando Ba Shaka and Falaba. That's our God. That's our God. That's our God. That's our God. That's the God we serve. That's the God who has redeemed us. That's the God who has saved us. That's the God who has lifted us. That's the God who has uprooted us from the murkiness of life, from the loneliness of downhill. To the seat of the princess in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Even before they call, God says, here I am. He has already answered. He says, ask and it shall be given unto thee. Knock and the door shall be opened. O shakam for labo shalaba. O rabo shalaba. Seek and ye shall find. Ilamando labo shakam fi. Ilaho shalaba. For who among us thee shall ask for bread and shall be given a stone? Who ask for fish and shall be given a serpent? Who shall a mandolaba? God knows exactly what you need. Hallelujah. He knows all that you need. And this is now the beautiful part of this. Even when God knows what you require and need, he does according to Ephesians 3.20. For God is able to do exceeding abundantly. 
infinitely beyond our wildest dream or imagination. God is able to do exceeding abundantly, infinitely beyond our wildest imaginations. Praise God. He is able to do exceeding abundantly, infinitely beyond our wildest prayers, our loftiest dreams, our highest praise, our greatest desires. He is able to supersede that and do exceeding abundantly, infinitely beyond the highest you can imagine or think according to his power that worketh inside of us. So he knows what you require. He knows what you need. But when he begins to show up and begins to release, my God, or Shakan Tholaba, or when you begin to experience the manifestation of the fulfillment of your desires and the answer to your petitions and to your requests, he is able to do exceeding abundantly. He supersedes your prayers and your desires. <laughs> he goes beyond your requests. <laughs> so he provides, he protects, he shields, he gives much more. Praise God. Oh, I don't know how I can thank God enough. Is there anything that you're asking God for? Is there anything that you have been praying and petitioning and requesting and crying for? God is faithful. Praise God. This is part one of this message. Tomorrow we're going to pick up from part B, from where he says, And uh, in this manner, therefore, uh, uh, pray. In this manner, therefore, pray. Oh, I love this. In this manner, therefore, pray. After this manner, therefore, pray ye. Oh, shalabaka. Oh, ramando la bo shakanto la bakara riente la laba. O kabari kamando la bo korari kala mandere ri kala ba shilaba. Araba siente de bekera ri kolobo shalaba. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. For dear Arania, I pray for the peace of God in the name of Jesus to calm her soul. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. You are blessed, dear Rania, in the name of Jesus. The presence of God covers you and the presence of God shields you. And the presence of God, O Shalamandolaba, fills you. And where the Spirit of God is, darkness cannot comprehend the light of the glory of God. In the name of Jesus, O Shalaba, receive your deliverance, receive your joy, receive your peace, receive your blessing, dear and near, all the way from Kuwait. In the name of Jesus, I want to. I want to hear the testimony of dear Ania in the name of the Lord Jesus. I want to hear the testimony according to the request you have made. I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, Shalaba. Any other prayer request before I close in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, as we will continue with part B of the same message tomorrow. Oh, Shakalamando la Bo Shalaba. Margarita Dresen, you are blessed. Thank you for always being diligent and being faithful to watching the broadcast. And being part and parcel of the kingdom aristocracy in great measures in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you, Margarita Driessen, all the way from Australia. Receive your blessing and your uh, strength right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I want to hear some testimonies. I want to hear some testimonies. I want to hear some testimonies. Bridget Esse, God bless you. Ashley D'Souza, the Lord bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Jen Manjan. God bless you, Shakan Tolaba, Baboshkila Bosalamandalaba, Mary Stubfield, Ungwai Gina Kuba, in the name of Jesus, Paula, in the name of Jesus, be blessed 
Angel save. Bella Lawson. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Be blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. The Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon thee and do you good. Don't forget when you pray, always know that God is a prayer answering God. He is a covenant keeping God. He is a faithful God and he will for sure because he has already on the premise of the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, he has already blessed us and prayer is the avenue and the platform simply to enforce that which has already been given to us in Jesus name. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. I pray for your children. And your husband, dear Rania, once again, I praise Father. Father, I praise you and I glorify you for the children of Rania and for the husband of Rania, dear. In the name of Jesus, all the way from Kuwait, I thank you for your mercy and grace upon every family that Lord is watching the broadcast. I thank you and I bless you. Before I close the broadcast, I want to request any one of you that may not have received Jesus as their Lord and Savior. This is the August occasion, the opportune time. Don't procrastinate to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior and the Redeemer of your soul. By confessing with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, died on the cross, shed his blood for the forgiveness of your sins, you will be saved and be born again. Please say these words after me. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, with my mouth I confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. With my heart I believe unto righteousness. Lord, I thank you for the redeeming power of the blood of Jesus that forgives me from all sin and unrighteousness. I praise you, Father, and I glorify you and I magnify you and I thank you that today I receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior and the Redeemer of my soul. Save me. I receive eternal life. I'm born again. I'm a child of God. In Jesus' name, amen. You pray, uh, you seek the Lord, uh, read your Bible, pray, uh, grow in grace, access uh, to the teachings of the Lord, and God will bless you abundantly in the name of Jesus. I'll be so glad to see you again tomorrow without fail. Those of you who have never subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please subscribe. In fact, what I'm just going to do right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus, so shalom and uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Subscribe, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Pray, uh, play, uh, pray, please. Subscribe to our YouTube uh, channel. Praise God. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Douglas Wrighty. Uh, right there. Oh, hallelujah. And God of heaven will bless you. I want to see if I can link up this to this broadcast so that you can click. Shalamando uh, Hosheken Thalaba. So that you can click and then you can subscribe that. Praise God. You can click and you can subscribe um, in that. Oh, la Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. All right. Okay, you can just uh, click on Douglas Wrighty. Uh, click on Douglas Wrighty. Let me just uh, show us. Praise God. Click on Douglas Wrighty. Let me re uh, put it right there. Uh, click on Douglas Wrighty. And you will subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, click on Douglas Wrighty uh, on the YouTube channel yeah, praise God 
uh, and you can find that and then you can subscribe uh, and you will be able to have subscribed and click on all uh, the notifications and then you'll be a recipient of all on most of the broadcasts that we do on YouTube channel. Please join the YouTube channel, subscribe, and we'll be more than glad to uh, have you receive the teachings and the preachings uh, that we always give. Praise God. I hope you've been blessed today by uh, the word on prayer. And I pray that um, your prayers will be answered. I pray that you'll become a people of prayer. Don't shut your mouth. Keep your mouth open. Pray always with all manner of prayers. Uh, don't, don't be prayerless. Prayerlessness is powerlessness. Don't relax. Keep on toes. Be in prayer. Men always ought to be in prayer or always ought to pray because prayer is to be powerful and prayer is to be connected to the divinity of God. And prayer is to live a triumphant life. So don't lose out, don't miss out, always pray. And the God of peace bless you in Jesus' name. La Tefat Opiemi, God bless you. Uh, Dina Rania, again, God bless you and every one of you who has come alive. God bless you. If you want to be a blessing or support us in any way or form, financially, please, you can right there or you can inbox us and it will give you the details we would very much appreciate every kind of financial support you give but from your heart not out of compulsion or pressure you can do so willingly and gladly praise god as unto the lord the lord bless you and keep you and prosper you and do you good in jesus name amen